All right, guys, here in this third one. So we've got a, a cat that's quacking like a duck. It's moving 10 steps. But it, let's go ahead and take this duck thing off just so I can show you something so it's not too annoying. And so if you ever want to delete or move your box, it's really easy. We can just click and drag it down here, get it unattached, and it's not going to do anything because it's not connected to a event block. I could do one of two things. I could right-click this block and delete it, or I could just drag it back over here and it goes away. Either way it helps you keep your coding palette clean and it allows you to get rid of the blocks that are not needed. So let's do something because I know some, some kids that I've been working with they want to get this to the point where the cat or whatever your sprite is hits the edge and it comes back. So if you're trying to make like a video game for example just going there and hiding with your tail isn't exactly what you want. So check this out. We're gonna go up here to motion and we're going to choose the option down here if on edge bounce. So watch what happens here. Now if he gets to the edge of the stage here, he's actually going to go ahead and bounce off the side. So when we get there, boom, there he is. He can't actually get to the side. So if I hold the space bar down, he's just going to keep bouncing off of it back and forth. And so now we can start to play around this. We can move our steps and we can move this, this, this boom back and forth. And now we're in good shape. So let me get him back right side up here. Alright, so now as we get going through this, we can go through and start to adjust this. And so how do we get this where if he bounces off the side of the screen, that he does not actually go upside down? So let's figure this out here. What do you think? Go ahead and if you have an idea, pause and think and try it out. And if you're not sure, just keep watching the video here. Um, so now we want him to be able to keep walking on his paws and not walking on his head. So we're going to go down here and we're going to go ahead and add some things here. We're going to go ahead and choose this set rotation style right here. And we're going to go ahead and add this right above what we want before he bounces. So we got the set rotation style. Okay. Now let's see what happens. Boom. So now when he goes to rotate, he's going to go left to right. All right. Now we could actually change this. Let me go all around. Or let's see what happens. Now we're going to get all sorts of different options. Now we're back to where we were, but we just want him to bounce left to right in these options. And so we have that. And the other cool thing that we want to do is we can start to have him become more, more animated in this program. So we could have him go... Uh, let's say sound. Uh, let's not have him talk. Let's go down here to looks. Actually, so we'll just have him say hello. So now, hello, hello, hello. Non stop here. There we go. And then we can go ahead and change this all we want. Because we can go through. And then we can do one more cool thing. We can have him change color. We'll say by effect of 25. So now he'll change color. Every time I touch the space bar, he's going to change color. And you can play around with these numbers. You can change all these things. This is where you get to come in and manipulate it. And so we can have him go, go through. There's like the fish eye. Oh, we'll go ahead and stop that here. Get him back to normal. We could do the whirl. So every time I hit the space bar, he's going to spin. All right. I hit that stop. He goes back to reset. We could go mosaic. It just keeps expanding. There's all these different cool options that we can start to play with while he's moving and programming. So go ahead and, and play around with this thing here for a little bit and just see what you come up with. Okay? And then we're going to move on to the next video tutorial.